Tonight, families are being allowed back into their homes after evacuations throughout the night in Nassau County, but the flames damaged or destroyed multiple homes and other buildings in this area. This is video you're looking at right now online of one of several homes that went up in flames yesterday afternoon is being blamed all on an illegal burn, a man burning trash that got out of hand. Officials say he's received a citation, but they do believe that this was an accident. Thank you for joining us tonight at five. I'm Anthony Austin here at the command center where we are getting the latest information for you. Also tonight, my co-anchor Jeannie Blaylock is in Nassau County. Hi, Anthony. I'm Jeannie Blaylock. As you say, we are off County Road 119 live right now. Let me just start with some encouraging news. We need some encouraging news. Firefighters said they were able to save a hundred homes and sometimes the flames were this close from maybe this tree just to pass this tree right here that close and they were able to save a hundred homes. I just pulled up to this area. I've been in Bryceville all day talking to people and this is the other side of the story. It is jolting. I will tell you, take a look right here. This home and the shed totally gone and what's striking me after covering hurricanes and tornadoes is usually in those kinds of situations you can still see a family picture maybe it's wet maybe it's full of mud but here you can't recognize anything anymore i can recognize this back there and that was about it so let me tell you exactly where we are and some more details for the press comments that we just had take a look at this map right here here is the exact area we're talking about the fire impact in the small town of bryceville near county road 119 where we are right now at County Road 121, that's west of US 301. The flames took aim at the Countryside Acres neighborhood especially. Now, here are the latest details on the fire right now from the press comments we just heard. The fire has charred about 700 acres of land. We were told that somebody got on an ATV vehicle today with the GPS and went around the perimeter, and that exact number is 696 acres. Last night it was about 400, but they have a much more accurate count today. That's a little more than a square mile. It is 65% contained within that perimeter. They tell us they're going to do another assessment about 7 o'clock tonight. They're hoping that can be better than 65% contained. Two homes have been destroyed, eight others receiving damage, and there are about 19 other smaller structures like sheds that have been impacted by the flames as well. 